Sunday evening after my week on the Isle of Wight and I am knackered body, legs, mind exhausted we were told on Monday night when we did our team meeting that we should get used to learn to ride tired because it's going to be a grind and a slog I feel like I've done that this week a few of these sessions have been rough my legs are killing me uh, I got a really bad bum um, I need to get some cream for that because saddle sore is going to be a pain yeah just tired really tired so final grind of the week and I'm going to go for a bath and I have the day off tomorrow because I am done in Sunday night done, absolute grind. To be fair, it's probably the shifts like this just gonna get me through America because that was mentally tough to get out of the house, get going and ride that. After a week I've had, tough going. 245 kilometers total in a week, most I've ever done by a country mile. Catch you soon, I'm off for a bath. back out in the Welsh Hills had a bit of a rest week this week if I'm honest my body was screaming at me felt quite run down hurting after a big week last week uh, so I listened to my body had a few days off back at it now it's tough out here still hilly in Wales and I'm uh, yeah pushing it first ride back Saturday another one tomorrow then a big week next week should get me back on track to where I want to be also our kits arrived so I'll do a bit of an unboxing video for that, show you what we're going to be wearing when we're flying across the States. Catch you soon. Woo! At the top, baby! Woo! That's 34 kilometers done. I did want a bit more if I'm honest. There's a turn in there, you can turn left or right. Left adds another 15k in two massive hills and then right takes me home. I opted for the right turn this time. Legs and body shit are much left in them. First ride back after a week off, so can't be too hard. Next time I have to turn left. Ride number two done of my recovery week. A little 25k around the caravan loop, little sprint loop up the hills and back into both. Really windy today, really hot. Nice way to get myself back into what is going to be a bigger week. Got a 100k ride booked in for Friday with Al, so it should be good. Uh, start to up the miles now, keep the legs fresh, keep the body fresh. Three weeks to go. Afternoon. Today I am in Blackpool with work. I'll be able to see the tower down at the bottom end of the road. I'm going to go for a bit of a trip down the prom, live in St Anne's, and then back. Be rude not to when we're in Blackpool, won't it? Absolutely lush, like a duck pond. Smooth, no potholes, lush. Why can't all roads be like this? Welcome to Blackpool, folks. Glitter ball, light, big dipper. What more do you want in life? A 
last year's folks, the main attraction, the Blackpool Tower. There you go, taking in Blackpool's best. That's 47 kilometers done around Blackpool. Lovely ride around here, flat, really flat, just one hill. Uh, nice prom, really, really flat roads, really, really good cycle tracks, and a big tower. Catch you soon. It's Thursday night, I'm going for a quick 30k, trying out the new bike kit. There I am, all fits pretty well. The top might actually be a touch loose, but we'll see how that goes. I'll report back shortly. Thursday night, just over 30k done. Got a big ride coming up tomorrow with Uncle Al, Al Jarvis. We are doing what is technically my shortest day. So 106 kilometers ish around Shropshire. Afternoon ride, it's gonna be warm. Big, big, massive hill in the middle, but we go 100K, Al's first 100K, my shortest day, big day. Final preparations for our 105k ride, which is going to be my shortest day in America. So I got Al Jarvis with me today. Virgin of a 100k ride. So I did my first one on the Isle of Wight. He's doing his first one today for a bit of support for me. Big test for the legs. We've got one massive hill by the Long Mind. So see how that goes. No doubt there'll be a couple of me struggling posts coming up on that. We are gelated up. Al's gone for full kit. Yeah, not quite sure why, because I am. Still roasting hot in my setup. We'll keep you posted. Rural Shropshire, cross country riding, not road riding, it's rough. We're back on a road. Thank the Lord. Oh, it's nice. Can't feel my fingers, can't feel my bum. Horrible. We got rain. First ride out in the rain ever. I got no jacket. I got shorts on. The man over here has got his tights on and he's happy. I'm not happy. Bastard. 45k in. Stopped for cake and coffee at the Hormond. Al's still feeling fresh. I'm still feeling fresh. We'll report back in a bit. Barry's house. We are in Dorrington. 60 something K in. A couple of pairs of tired legs. Started to feel it a little bit. And we've got the 6K hill to go. Here's our hero. <laughs> Riding strong. He's Live a beast. Action. Get your money out and support him. <laughs> Just had a quick fuel stop. And all we can see is hills and more hills and more hills. We're going up one of them. We'll let you know which one it is in a minute. Three kilometers in to a 7K climb. Just got to the first halfway flat point. We've got a green, an orange, a green, and a beastly red at the end. Definitely both feeling it. Yeah, feeling it now. Feeling it now. It's rough. Oh. Come from down there, 400 meters to go. Let's head to the top. I oh, know! Absolutely amazing up here on the long mind. Can't, <laughs> can't see a thing, but we're loving it. We made it to the top of the hill, baby! Normally, 
come out down there. Uh, further that way. Yeah. Where we go down Rocket Line and pass that street. That's it. The reeking. We've got about 10k to go. I'm struggling now. 93 kilometers. Get me home. Al's feeling fresh still. We're all good. But get home. The 100 kilometer man. Yes, finished. Two longest rides, 106 for me, 106 for Al. First time he's done 100. Second time I've done the 100. Problem is that is my shortest day and we feel absolutely zapped. So yeah, tough going, covered in mud. Socks have changed color, boots have changed color. Epic ride. Epic, awesome. Make sure to donate. <laughs> Get your donations in. I'm entering the final full week of training. Tonight is Wednesday, got one week to go. And next Thursday, we pack in, get ready to go. And then, uh, yeah, fly out on Friday. Nervous, excited, all of it in one. Feeling pretty good though, to be honest. My legs are good. 100K the other day was, was fine. Probably could have done with an extra stop in the middle for my back, but legs had it in them. So yeah, bring it on, one week to go.